از آقای بعید درهیم درخواست میکنم که بیاد اینجا که راجع به اپدیتی بمون بدن راجع به پروگرام کانستراکشن و ریمودلینگ ارس کالچر آسیا خیلی شبات شلوم خاک سمیا امیدوارم که همه صدای منو بشوید everyone hears my voice uh, you know before i really get into the update i want to remind everyone where we were started it's been 36 years perhaps 37 years that we left iran over 30 years ago when we came here, most of us, we thought we were going to go back. Shaw was going to go back. Everything would be fine. And we were just here for vacation. But a few leaders and our parents, they got together <laughs> with their bare hands, not knowing about the culture that they all of a sudden slided into, not knowing the language, the whereabouts, they understood the necessity of having a center like this. Back then, we didn't have a steady job because we were thinking that we were going to go back. They all got together with whatever they had and what, whatever they didn't have and pulled it through and they built this beautiful center. Remember, unlike anything else that came subsequent to this, that they went out and purchased it, this one was built. That was about 36, 37 years ago. During the high holidays, we talked about our, our home as uh, Comran John said, this is our home. We are family, and this is our home. We looked at our kids. We said, 30 some years later, we're here now. What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Is this what we're going to hand uh, to our uh, kids? Is this good enough for them? Are we doing a good job? Well, things have changed. We have a steady job. We have direction in life. We are not going back to Iran. We have kids who are born here, plan on staying here. They're Americans. We are Americans. This is it. So I believe our direction is a lot more clearer than 30 some years ago. We have a better understanding of our world. We have a better understanding of our society, our community. And we all agreed that it would be a huge disservice to our kids, to the future generation, to us, to things, to live this center the way it is. And we made a commitment to make a difference. We actually made a commitment to make a huge difference. So since then, we've been working. I gotta, I'm going to share with you what we've been doing and where we're going. Back during the high holidays, we we talked about revamping, remodeling, renovating this ballroom. Making it just like the way it is, a multi-purpose ballroom. Events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, and of course, getting together and praying. We talked about renovating, remodeling the small sanctuary as well. 
remodeling, renovating the lobby and beyond. So we started, we hired our architect, we surveyed the entire property. There is a, there was no plan. Things were old, the plans were nowhere to be found. Everything has uh, been uh, drafted into the computer, the structure, property. Now exactly we know what we have. We went to work. Then all of a sudden, the board paused. We took a time out. We took a time out because as Jews, we know that we have to ask for more. As Jews, we know we have to expect more. We cannot settle with just anything. So we thought, when we came here, and that's why I started by mentioning that we came here about 37 years ago. We came as Persian Jews. What has happened in the past 37 years? How much our kids know about Persian Jews? How much our grandkids know or will know about Persian Jews? Because there are two schooling here, Sephardic and Ashkenazi. We know we are not Ashkenazi because we didn't come from Europe. And all of a sudden, there was no C. It was either A or B. So we said, all right, we're Sephardi. Let's go gravitate towards Sephardi, which is fine. We're all Jews. And over time, we are losing the, the we're missing, we're, we're losing our identity. We were in Iran for 2,600 years. Longer than any Jewish group anywhere in the world. We've had profound contribution to Persian literature, art, science, music. <laughs> we have our own set of traditions. And they're all evaporating. They're getting four year and four year and four year. Another 20, 30 years. I don't know if there is, there would be anything left. So we decided to do, to go beyond what we shared with you back in high holidays. We decided to preserve our identity, our heritage, where we came from. 2600, we have a still at Mordechai. Please, remember, we have a still on Mordecai. If we don't talk about it, if there, are, if there is nothing out there for people to rely, to relate to, to touch and feel, everything would be vanished. So we decided, as we are expanding now, I'm, I'm using the word expansion. This is gonna be a true cultural center, as our name says. We're gonna shine the word cultural. So we are developing a small museum cultural place, a tribute to the Persian Jews' life in Iran for over 2,600 years. That is one part of it. That is one part of it. Please, let me have your attention. The millennial, this is about where your parents came from. This is about 
where Estelle and Mordecai came from. This is 2,600 years. It is not 260 years in America. This is 2,600 years. Listen to this. Pause. Think about it. You guys are really good with the social media. Find out where we came from. It is in the social media. Another thing. We're not going to use this borrow as a multifunctional space anymore. We're building a stationary amphitheater style sanctuary. Woo! Very important, no Persian Jews, coast to coast, from New York to Los Angeles, has addressed or even bothered to address about having a cultural center that is dedicated to the Persian Jews for 2,600 years. We have taken it upon ourselves to do it. So, this vision went from remodeling, revamping, upgrading to, a, to an expansion. We're going to do all of those things plus the expansion. We're going to put Eris Cultural Center on the map, coast to coast, for people who are traveling from New York. And they want to know what, they want to know where they came from. What is the history of Persian Jews? What is the Esther and Mordecai? We will need your help. This is communities are put together by not one person, two person, or a handful. Communities are put together and evolved by everyone being participated. You have to participate. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your kids, to your grandkids, to the future. When the Americans ask you, hmm, Persian Jews, and you say, yes, well, what would I know? Do I rely on Google? Or you could invite them to this very nice, high-tech cultural center. Put them in touch. Put them in touch with the history. Put them in touch with who we are. Put them in touch with where we came from. <laughs> this is by far the most profound investment that we, all of us, as an individual, as a community, are making for now and future. So, I'm going to leave you with one thing. Think about it. <laughs> Dream about it. Mes get mesmerized. Put it inside your heart. Put it inside your DNA. We're going to make this thing happen. One way or the other, is not a shit. با تشکر بسیار بسیار زیاد از کامران گل از وحید عزیز وقتی که به وحید میگی بیگ تینک بیگ وحید تینکس بیگ بارو خشم اینجا یک سنتری خواهد شد در لایق اسمش ارز کالچرال سنتر همونطور که آقای در راهیم صحبت کردن نه تنها این بال روم اپگرید خواهد شد یک کنیسای بسیار بسیار زیبای شکل امفیتیتر به فارسی میگم که همه اینو گرفته باشن ساخته خواهد شد اون چیزی که توی پروسس دیزاین هست یک سنکتوری ساخته خواهد شد پشت این بیلدی و یک میوزیک یک میوزیوم هال ساخته خواهد شد آپارتمانی ساخته خواهد شد برای ربای برای کاستودیان برای کسانی که شبات ها و موید ها بخوان overnight memunan in job it's going to be an amazing 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 eris cultural center ba hamun tori ke bahir jun goftan we want everybody to participate it's not just baraye ede be khusus nis 
همه ما باید دست به دست هم بذاریم و یه جایی درست بکنیم که باعث افتخار همه یهودی های ایرانی بشه Thank you so much.